were the member of parliament for a Betifi constituency in that region, Peter Uyafipepra, has died. The new, mem uh, the new patriotic party's member of parliament reportedly died on Saturday afternoon at the 37 military hospital where he had been on admission. It remains unclear what caused his death, but unconfirmed reports say he suffered from a cardiac arrest. The 62-year-old member of parliament was once a minister in the National Democratic Congress administration before joining the NPP in 2001. He was a ranking member on the Trade and Industry Committee in Parliament. Uh, we go straight to the uh, Eastern region and speak to Isaac Ejapong. He is uh, uh, an official of the New Patriotic Party in that constituency. Isaac, good afternoon. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, to, I mean, clearly it is a little early to ask, but uh, what is the NPP in that constituency making of the death of the Member of Parliament? Uh, please come again. I can't hear you all. We are asking that what have you gathered may be the cause of the death of uh, Mr. Riafi Pepper? The cause of the death? Yes. Wow. Um, basically, uh, we had information yesterday around 5 p.m., and per our investigation last Friday to Parliament, uh, he was not well. But after that, he went to see his doctor, was detained, and then yesterday morning he was okay. Uh, in the afternoon, what we heard was that his situation has worsened. So he passed away around him, as I said earlier on. But for the cause of the death, we are yet to, um, to gather that information. Right, and what is... How is the NPP family in Abitifi taking this news? Uh, frankly speaking, uh, we are sad because uh, uh, Honorable Pe Pepra is a very good MP. You know, uh, since yesterday when the news broke, we have been getting a lot of calls from friends, the people who taking care of them and all that. And everybody is sad in the constituency. As I'm speaking, we are on our way to Accra. To, to, to you know, um, say condolence to the family and also uh, see you the way forward. Okay. Um, I do not know whether you may uh, be in good position to answer this, but are you picking up any signals whether or not there will be a by-election? And if yes, is the MPP already thinking of that? Um, with by-election, you know, uh, the act is clear on that. And uh, we are waiting to hear from uh, uh, the Electoral Commission. Uh, uh, per the Act, I think uh, Act 112, Clause 5 and 6, mm. uh, it is clear that uh, uh, when Parliament is not, uh, when the family notifies the, the, the uh, Parliament, Parliament has to also write to the Electoral Commission, and then from there the Electoral Commission will act on it. So we are waiting. And uh, personally, I think with by election, I think uh, it's not necessary for now. Because, you know, uh, we have only about six months to general election. But however, if they want to do it, uh, we have to put ourselves together and then work around the clock to ensure that uh, we go for by-election. Okay. We are grateful for your time. Thank you very much, Isaac Ejapong, uh, for giving us the reaction of the NPP family in the Abitifi constituency where its member of parliament uh, passed away yesterday. That uh, person of Peter Riafi Pepra, he reportedly died at the 37 military hospital where he was on admission. And uh, we are told that um, he, the cause of death is currently unknown but uh, preliminary reports coming in suggest that he may have passed away due to cardiac arrest. He was 62 years old and uh, at one point was a member of the National Democratic Congress, but uh, crossed camps or switched carpets to the uh, camp of the New Patriotic Party in 2001. In Parliament, he was a member of the ranking, com uh, the ranking uh, Committee on Trade and Industry in the legislature. May his soul rest in perfect peace. And uh, already there are reports of whether or not there may be by election. There isn't enough clarity on that, but we'll be uh, working the lines to see if we can get some uh, legal perspective to this particular issue where we are told that um, some 
reports we are picking is that there could be a by-election. Whether or not it happens, we are yet un, um, unclear about that. Because when it is six months to a major election, there is a possibility that it could be uh, suspended up until the major election is held. But if not, then. If not, then, then they will have to hold a by-election there to pick someone to represent that constituency in parliament. But when we do get a lawyer on the line, we're trying to work the lines to get a lawyer, yeah, upon he's a constitutional lawyer, to let us know whether or not six months to a major election we can have a by-election or they would have to hold on up until the major election. This is still Midday Live on TV3. Joined on the line by um, constitutional lawyer Yao Opong. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you very much for your time. Yes, good afternoon. To start with, um, is the constitution clear on whether or not with uh, a particular timeline, maybe six months to the election, the EC or government for that matter can suspend a by-election because they think a major one is just right around the corner? Well, thank you very much. Um, I think, let me say for a start, that we pray that God gives him a good place in his abode. Now, the constitution doesn't clearly make provision for that, uh, as far as my search will reveal. But then the representation of the people law, which is the applicable law, on the or the parent law on um, elections apart from the constitution state at section 12 that where there is a vacancy due to the demise of a, a member of parliament by election must be held but then the subsequent subsection is that however in the case of in the case of a person who dies within three months from the date of the general election, that member of parliament seat will not be replaced, or that member of parliament will not be replaced. In other words, there will be no by-election if a member of parliament dies within three months, three months. from the date of a general election. Now, okay. under the concurrent law, under the constitution, hmm. you read Article 1, 2, 2, it says clearly that General election for members of parliament shall begin or shall not be held not later than one month mm. from the date of the expiry. In other words, parliamentary election can only be held sometime in seventh or on seventh December. That is one month before the expiry, which is seventh January. Right. So it means that between now and seventh December by election will have to be held for the replacement of the our dear MP who is deceased. Oh, okay. So, so per your understanding and what the constitution currently stipulates, there is the go ahead that there should be a by election. Yes, I'm saying that the representation of the people's law, mm. yeah, PNDC law two eight four, I think, makes that clear that since we have more than three months. Mm hold general elections for the election of members of parliament, what it means is that the by-election will have to be held. So that is my understanding. Okay. All right. Uh, we thank you for all that clarity you've brought to this discussion. Uh, lawyer Yao Pong is a constitutional lawyer and also a lecturer at Central University. That's it for this particular segment of the show. This is Midday Live on TV3. With